Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salam khan here. And with today's topic, uh, the Axis 3 code. Okay. We've seen the binary coded decimal, and in that, we've seen the 8421 code in the previous lecture, which I've already uh, uh, written over here. And today, we see the next, that is the Axis 3 code. Okay. The Axis 3. In short, it's written as X apostrophe S, axis and 3 again and we have the code axis 3 code now what is this axis 3 code so the definition of this is what this is when you add 3 when you add 3 to the 88421 code of any decimal digit it gives you the axis 3 all right what's the definition you add 3 to 8421 BCD okay now now we've seen in the previous lecture the weight of this is to the power 0 it's to the power 1 this is to the power 2 this is to the power 3 which makes this an 8421 code all right so you add 3 to it you get the the what the axis 3 code so let me write over here the, the axis 3 for these the axis 3 so for zero, so for zero, it would be what? You add three to it. Three is a zero, zero, one, one. This is a four-bit code you need to remember. This is the four-bit code again. Axis three is a four-bit code. Okay? And you, you, so for zero, you add three to it. Zero, 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 zero plus a zero, zero, one, one. So of course it would be three, okay? So for zero, it's three. Zero, zero, one, one. For 1, it would be 4. So it would be 0, 0, uh, uh, sorry, 0, 1, 0, 0. All right? For 2, for 2, it would be a 2 plus 3 is 5. So we have a 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. For 3, it would be 6. So 0, 1, 1, 0. For 4, it would be 7, 0, uh, triple 1. For 5, it would, it would be 8. So 1, triple 0. All right, and then we have for six it would be nine, so it would be one zero zero one. For seven it would be ten, which is a one zero one zero. For eight it would be what? Uh, eight it would be eleven. So we have uh, two to the power uh, three eight uh, nine ten. Uh, no, uh, three eight nine ten eleven. So it would be one zero one one. 1, 0, 1, 1. Have a look. To the power 0 to the power 1. So we have a 1 plus 2 plus 8. So it is 11. Okay. And 9 plus 3. So let us do it for a proof. We should have 1 for a proof. 1, 0, 0, 1 plus a 0, 0, 1, 1. So 1, 1 would give you a 0 with 1 carry. 1, 1 again. A 0 with 1 carry. And this would be 1. This would be 1. So 1, 1. 0, 0. I want to confirm this, this 8 also. So if you have a 1 triple zero and you add a double one to it which means eight plus three so you have a one one zero one so this is fine all right so have a look now this is the decimal number a decimal digit not a number okay this is for decimal digits from zero to nine we have the bcd code you add three to the bcd the eight for two and bcd you get a what you get the access three code all right okay now another important property we said that access three now, first, 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 you see this axis three code is an unweighted code. Okay, this is an unweighted code. Each digit does not has each digit does not has its own particular weight. All right, it's not according to any 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 particular formula. The eight four two one, the two four two one, any other codes. This does not uh, uh, follow a certain rule. Okay, so this is an unweighted code. Another property of this code that this is a self complementing code. Self complementing. All right, so how is that self complementing? Have a look. Zero's complement is nine, one's complement is eight. You, you keep, keep on checking, okay? We have it over here. Zero's complement is nine. You can see it clearly, okay? Then we have one's complement, which is eight. 
then 3's complement is 7. Isn't it so? It is. Then we have 4's complement is 6. Uh, no, 4's uh, complement 6. No. 0, 9, then uh, 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 6, 3, 6, and we have then 4's complement is 5. All right? So, which means this is a self complementing code. You can write it over here that 0's complement is 9, or 9's complement is 0, and you can write that 1's complement is 8 or 7's complement is 2 and you can write it as you want, all right? Okay, this is a very important point that this axis 3 code, axis 3 is the only unweighted code that is self complementing now this is the most important property of this code okay we don't have any other we don't have any other unweighted code that is self complementing this axis tree code is the only code that has what that has this property of self complementing all right okay all right now how do how do we find the axis three code for numbers for numbers okay for digits is given but how do we find it for numbers so as simple as it is let's say we need axis three code for 24 okay so for 24 first you need to write the bcd first okay the binary coded decimal in the 8421 and you know how to write it you write it separately for both for two it's a zero zero one zero and for 4, it is a 0, 1, 0, 0. All right? Now what you do, you know that axis 3 is the addition of 3 to the BCD. So you add a 3 to, to both the, the nibbles, okay? A group of 4 bits, a group of 4 bits, you add 3 to both of the groups. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So what would be the sum? The sum is a 0, 1 is 1, 1, 0 is 1 again, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 1. Now this code, this is the axis 3 code for 24, all right? Similarly, we can have for any other number, let's say we want a 952, 952. So for 9, for 9, the, uh, the BCD is what? You, you, the BCD is 1, 0, 0, 1. For 5, it is a 0, 1, 0, 1. And for 2, it is a 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, this is the BCD. You add 3 to individual 4 uh, uh, bit groups, okay? So, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, what does this result in? So, 0, 1 is a 1. 1, 1 is a 0 with 1 carry, 1, now uh, this would be 0, 1, 1 is a 0 with a 1 carry, 1, 1 is 0 with a 1 carry, 1, 1 is again 0 with 1 carry, now this is 1, uh, this would be 0, this would be 0, this would be 1, and this, so this is the code for 952, alright? Okay, or, or what can you do? If, uh, if if you don't and and if you remember first, if you remember the axis three codes for nine, five, and two, you can write them directly, okay? But if you don't, you follow this method. Now have a look. If I can write this directly, so for nine it's one one zero zero, for uh, for five it is it is what? It's one zero zero zero, and for two it's zero one zero one. So if you remember the axis three codes directly, you write them directly. If you don't. You, you should at least remember the BCD in four bits for these digits and you add the three to them so you get the axis three. Is that clear? So how do I know that is clear? I would know if you if you write a yes in the comment section so I would know that you are getting these points, all right? Okay, okay, now we move into the next part of the lecture where we see the addition of uh, this, uh, this axis three code, okay? And we see it through an example. Let's say we're given to add 2 plus 5 in what? In axis 3. So if you have 2 plus 7, it would be 2 plus 5, so it would be 7. And you add 3, so the answer must be 10, okay? 
let's see what happens. We we add it in the in the BCD. So uh, in the axis three, sorry. So we have a zero one zero one for two, and a one zero 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 for for five. Okay. So one zero would be one zero zero would be zero one zero again one and one zero again one. So now if you know binary to decimal conversions, you you see that this is thirteen. Which is wrong, which is not our required answer because now it has six extra. We need only three extra because in Nexus 3 we have three extra. How is that? Because we have a three extra over here and a three extra over here, which sums up to give up a total of six extra in the answer, okay? Which is not required. So to remove this, to remove this, you subtract a three from the final answer. Subtract three. Which means there's one one zero one minus a zero zero one one. You minus it, okay? So now subtraction one minus one would be a zero, okay? Now zero minus one not possible, so you have a two minus one. This would be a one, and uh, this would remain a zero. Now you have another. So uh, so no, or zero minus zero is a zero, and uh, we don't need to borrow here, okay? And one minus zero is a one. So one zero one zero. Now this is the code for 10. Uh, this is not the access 3 code for 10. This is the access 3 code for 7. But this a basically represents 10. Uh, 10 in binary. Or you can say 7 in access 3. And that is our required answer, which is correct. So if you get an answer like this, which means you've added 3 to both of them, so the result will get a 6 extra, you, you subtract a 3 from it, okay? Let's have one another example. Okay, let's say we, are, we want to have the addition of 27 and 39. Alright, so, so you write them in their BCD, in their axis 3s, so 2 is uh, uh, two is what? It's a 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 7 is 1, 0, 1, 0. Now 3 is what? It's 0, 1, 1, 0, and 9 is 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so you add them, okay? So zero zero would give you zero one zero one one zero one 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 zero with a one carry, and then one one zero with a one uh, carry, and then one one zero uh, with a one carry. Three ones would give you a one as a sum and one as a carry. So this is the answer. One one triple zero one one zero. Okay. Now this answer is again wrong. Okay, it will have six extra, and you can verify it. Okay, by yourself. I'm not doing it for you. So this answer is again wrong. Now to make it correct, you follow a certain rule, okay? Let's say, let's say a number is given is an 8 bit, so you divide it into two groups. You divide it into a group of 4 bits. A number could be of 8 bits, 10 bits, 15 bits, 16 bits, 32 bits, any bit number is given, you're adding, you just divide into a group of 4 bits, all right? Let's say I give this name, uh, this group name, a group one, and this group a group two. All right. Now, <coughs> okay. Now, from the group that you have a final carry, you have a final carry from which group you add three to that group. Okay. So in this case, we had a carry from this group one into group two. So which means in group one. We had a final carry is equal to 1. So you do what? You add 3 to this group. Add 3 to the answer of this group, okay? And the group that does not have a final carry, in this case the group 2 doesn't have any carry. So group 2, no final carry. So now you do what? In this case you subtract I 3 from it, all right? You subtract 3 from the group which does not have a final carry, and you add 3 to the group which has a final carry. 
So let us do it. The first group is a 1100 zero, zero, and the second is a 0110. One, one, zero. So here we have to add a 3 in this one. 0, uh, zero one, 1 and here we have to subtract 0011. Zero, zero, one, one. And this will give us the final answer. So 0 plus 1 is a 1, 1 plus 1 is a 0 with 1 carry, 1 plus 1 is again 0 with a 1 carry, and this would give you a 1. Now, 0 minus 1 is not possible, so you take a carry. This becomes a 2, you have it from here, now 2. So 2 minus 1 is a 1, this remains a 1, 1 minus 1 is a 0, this remains a 0, 0 minus 0 is again a 0, and 1 minus 0 is a 1. So the final answer for 27 plus 39 is this so so now we we, we do what we we have a we have a cross check so the numbers were 27 and it was uh, and added with 39 okay so uh, this would uh, 7 plus 9 would be a 16 and this would be again a 6 so now this is 66 but we're performing access 3 addition so we add 3 to it we add 3 to it so, so we add 3 to both the numbers okay you have to keep this in mind 3 is added to this 6 3 is added to this 6 resulting in a 99 all right now you divide them into group of fours you know how to convert this binary into this decimal so in 1001 this is a 9 and 1001 again this is a 9 so this is 99 which means our answer found is absolutely correct all right so that's all about the access 3 code and that's all about today you have any question you have any doubt you ask there in the comment section do subscribe to the channel See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.